Hey guys, I'm Zach from Myers RV. This is our 2600 RB. It's a brand new 2021. Just hit the lot. So you've got nice big front pass through storage. They do have lights. Any of these bigger round lights that you'll see in the Imagines, uh, they can be on motion sensor where you can turn them on or off manually. You do have an outlet out here as well. So you could put in a mini fridge or you can plug in power tools, but this is gonna pass all the way through. You've got much thicker and better insulated door panels on the Imagine than you're gonna have on your traditional camper. We've got huge full length awning. If you can tell kind of right there in the center, they actually have a center awning rust as well. A lot of campers when they have these big awnings, over time they'll start to sag in the center because they don't have that extra support. They have it on this one. We've also got a nice LED light on the backsplash. You've got two outdoor speakers here. You've got two outdoor electric power outlets, outdoor cable hookup if you wanted an outdoor TV. Going on to the other side, there's your power hitch. I'm pretty close to my neighbor, so when we hop inside, I didn't put the slide quite all the way out, but we are like 97% of the way there. Um, you do have on the back of any of your Grand Design Imagines, they do have a fifth wheel style hookup for all your plugs. So you've got you know your hot and cold water there, your black flush tank, your battery disconnect, and you've got outlets on this side as well. Everything kind of comes up and through um, into here for your hookups. So it's one kind of convenient spot. You do have another light on this side. You've got a little switch to turn them on and off too. As we head inside the camper, um, and they're doing magnets for everything. All those doors that I open and close, those are gonna work on magnet locks. Uh, the door, if you push this all the way open, it's actually got a magnet that holds that door in place. It's a lot easier than having to deal with kind of the little plastic scrunchies that break all the time. You've got a hot and cold um, spray hookup on the back side. On the front, they do have just another um, cold water hookup that you could use for the little hose that comes with it. Uh, you do have a spare tire on the back, as well as a ladder. It's all rear wall mounted, so it's nice and easy to climb up on your roof if needed. It is prepped for a backup camera. Now if we head inside the camper, when we're heading in, you've got on the outside, solid surface steps. You've got a kick plate up front to knock off dirt off your shoes. These actually flip and fold right inside the camper, so they're not gonna get all rusty underneath it. Nice big grab bar handle right here. Uh, heading inside, you do have a spot for shoes down below there, which is awesome. Uh, coat rack area right here, up above. You've got a little storage compartment right there when we're coming in. They do this Compass Connect. This is a brand new product for them. So this is gonna be um, to get in and out your slides, for your water heater, your pumps, your awning, everything is gonna be based right in this system. You can come in here and you can press the buttons manually to do it. They have an app you can download and you can do all of this on a cell phone or tablet as well. Coming inside the camper, this is our main living area. We've got a nice, it's hard to tell in the videos, but this is a beveled ceiling. Uh, it's good for two reasons. As snow ice melts, it's gonna push everything off to the side up above. It also adds a lot more headroom in here. Our slide, like I mentioned, I'm not quite out all the way just because I had a closed camper right next to me. We got a few more inches, but this does give you the general idea. You do have two recliners across from the TV. The recliners are Thomas Payne. It's the best you can get. It's the same thing they put in their $100,000 fully loaded solitudes. They are heat and massage as well as recline. You've got a couple. This is up. I can please see. They're slow flow day night shades. They go up nice and slow. They're not going to roll around and break on you. You've got some big windows. A lot of brands when they do bigger windows like that, they are just going to be visual windows. They will not open and close. Um, all the windows that we're going to see in here, they do open and close. They all have uh, screens, so bugs and stuff aren't going to get in on you. This table that they use, it's a movable table. So if we go down and look at the legs underneath, it actually, it, this is how it folds flat when it's down. You push a button, it comes over and up, and it'll be your traditional table height. It's a lot easier to put up and down, and you can actually take it right outside with you as well if you guys ever wanted it outside. And because it's a movable table, when you're getting into that U-shape, it's a lot more convenient to get in and out of there. Um, and that does have 
not everybody will show you this, but the U shape, and that's actually an ottoman right there. It's an, a storage ottoman. So that can come out. Somebody could use that to put their feet up on. And you can use this as a traditional booth dinette if you don't need the full U shape. They use these plaid covers. These are reversible. Depending on if you like the more plowed farmhouse look or if you just want it to be the more you know gray color that they have on there. This is going to be our kitchen area. Plenty of cupboard space there. Um, it does have an actual stove. Some of them just do you know storage drawers. Down below, this is a huge drawer. And then they've got this peg system so you can move those pegs around. It's great for putting all your larger pots, pans. A lot of campers, again, aren't going to really have a good spot for that. We got a nice huge drawer there. Just some more little uh, packing stuff that tried to hide on you. All these drawers too. These are real, you know, wood on all your side drawers. Big top and bottom there. Restaurant style sink. This is actual stainless steel. It's not a plastic look like. Um, this rolls up. You can use this to kind of for a dish drying rack if you're rinsing off some veggies. Um, these are awesome. A lot of the campers, grand designer moving over to these. Got a couple outlets there. Um, they do have a little under backlight right there too. If you want better prep space light. Here's our cupboards above. And these do go all the way over. So these are giant cupboards up above. And these are nice deep cupboards on this overhead. Microwave, give you a little extra storage up top. And then you've got your fan and your light on this guy, again, for prep space. This uh, glass that they use, you can use it. It's great for like storing pots, pans. And then when this folds up, it also acts as your backsplash. These are still running um, the gas and electric fridges. Some rents are doing the electric only. I don't know if you guys do any off-grid camping, but it does have propane capability. Even if you are on a campground, if the power ever goes out, sometimes it's, it's pretty good to have that as a backup. This is a doggy dish bowl, if you guys have a little doggo. Um, otherwise, this does come out. You can just use it as a regular drawer space. Same thing, this is for the bottles of wine. If you guys are not wine drinkers and you don't want that, try it out. This is gonna be our TV hookup. It's one of the few campers that has a TV directly across from the couch for the rainy days. It's exactly where you'd want it. Plenty of big storage in here. It's got the hookups. If you guys had like a little Blu-ray DVD player or something like that, you've got electric hookups, you can put that in here. Um, this is going to be for your CD, disc player, Bluetooth. You've got two indoor and outdoor speakers. You can choose zone, You can choose inside, outside, or both if you guys want to play some music. We've got nice deep drawers working below. And then these ones open this way. This one is going to be your fuse box. And then this one will actually be storage. It's a nice deep all the way back. then your tv too this is on a swivel mount this does move back and you can kind of access all your back wires if you need nice and easy moving to our nice rear bath so we've got the nice door that goes across you've got a porcelain toilet it is a giant bathroom back here it's tough let me try to make it wide it's tough to get everything in there but Nice big medicine cabinet space. Because they do the uh, the double mirror, you actually get really nice big, these are big mirrors when you're in here. Um, sink right there. Nice big drawer there. And you got plenty of storage there. That's gonna be your water heater. It vents out to the rear. That's why that is blocked off. You've got, these are all like if you're doing paper towels or something, these are all nice deep. They're like three foot slats kind of for storage. This is their new shower area. It's a nice big, um, 6'2", 220 pounds. 
tons of headroom up top. I got plenty of space here in the shower. They do these new shower doors that a lot of people are going to. They actually squeegee, so when you're showering, this gets all steamy. It's got a built-in squeegee, so every time you open and close this, it self-cleans. So it's low maintenance, nice and easy. You do have a little bit of a lip too right there, so when it closes, you're not worrying about water getting out of there. They also have no uh, floor vents for the heating system. All the registers are going to be up off into the sides with the grand designs, so you're not dealing with um, soft spots or you're not dealing with, uh, you know, water, dirt, debris getting into your floor vents. They've got some outlets um, right there too. I don't know if I mentioned near the recliner. Pretty much everywhere you put a butt, you're going to have an outlet of some sort. This is going to be our back bedroom. So they've got our two reading lights there. You can do it in the blue or the white light. So you have both options on both sides. This bed does flip up. And it's going to be on the, uh, the spring loaded, so no hands. You can kind of get stuff in and out much easier. They've got this top drawer that slides across. And those are how I was mentioning the floor vents are kind of up on the walls off to the side. That's weird. Those are some of them. They're going to be throughout the camper. There's a TV backer location over there. If you guys want TV, it does have the hookups up above. You do have a vent in your bedroom as well as in the bathroom. And you've got your traditional vents in the kitchen. So you've got vents in every single room going up and out for good floor, um, you know, good airflow. Um, and the bedroom is there. On both sides, it'll be identical. You've got your storage up above. You've got these drawers right here. You're going to have an outlet right there with a little bit of a, you know, area there. And then inside, you're also going to have another outlet and a USB and a little kind of storage cubby there. Great for books, phones, anything you guys might be charging. Up above, they've got these on kind of doors as well. So up above, we've also got that storage there. All these doors are going to be slider doors and they do have mag locks on them. So those will kind of automatically go in place and you can actually close them and lock them too. Um, kitchen off, I mentioned this actually flips up too. So you get a little bit of extra prep space. But overall, awesome unit. Like, so these have been doing really well. Let me know, guys, if you have any other questions on it, if there's anything I can do for you guys, answer for you guys. And uh, we'll try, try to do our best to take care of you.